What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. What I was just holding right now was a pair of shoes. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys five pranks that you guys can pull off on friends and family using their shoes. Now, some of these might be a little bit extreme, so prank at your own risk. Well, guys, I hope you guys are excited about this as I am. And if you are, hit that thumbs up button and check it out. This first prank, let's say you're walking through the house and you happen to spot your little brother's or little sister's shoes. They're on the floor, but in this example, of course, they're on the counter. But it works just as well on the floor. So you grab one of their shoes, and on the bottom, the sole, you're going to put a piece of duct tape on it. Make sure it's on there very flat. Make sure it won't peel off. And at this point, this is what it should look like. Now we're going to get another strip of tape and we're going to place it on the surface where we're going to glue this on. So for example, it'll be this counter right here. So just lay it on there like this. That works. Now it's time to bring out the glue gun. All right. So now that I have my handy glue gun here, I'm going to put some glue right on the tape that's on the counter. Just like this. Then we're going to place the shoe on it like this. So make sure both tapes are aligned. And now it should stick. Let it sit there for a few minutes so it dries up. And then when it dries up, it'll be hard to remove the shoe. And then just put the other shoe next to it. And then when your little brother or little sister wants to use their shoe, they'll be in for a surprise. When they're trying to put on their shoe, they'll pull on it and it'll be stuck to the floor. They'll probably think that you nailed their shoe on there. It's just a really funny prank that you guys can pull off on them. Look, I'm a strong man and even I can't pull it. I gotta use superhuman strength to do this. <laughs> Look at that guys. It won't damage the shoe. You guys can easily peel off the other piece of tape and it won't damage the floor either or the counter. See, it's just a fun prank you guys can pull off on your siblings. And by looking at this, which is a zip tie, you guys can get an idea of what this next prank is all about, right? Well, this is a very common prank that you guys can pull off on your siblings using their shoes and a zip tie. Basically, what you guys are gonna do is join both shoes together using a zip tie. So through the little shoelace hoop, we're gonna run the zip tie, and then again on the other shoe, so they should join together at this point. And then we're gonna tighten the zip tie like so, as tight as we can, <laughs> and that's it guys. Hide all the scissors, all the knives, all the sharp objects that your siblings could use to undo the zip tie, and that is it. That is an excellent prank you guys can pull off on them in the morning before they get to school. They'll be in a rush to get to class, but they can't be wearing these shoes if they're attached together. It's time to bring out the liquid ass. And you guys have seen me use liquid ass in the past. It's not so great doing the demos with this because it smells really bad and I myself hate the smell of liquid ass. And I'm sure your victims will as well. So you might want to wear a mask when you undo this. But basically what we're going to do is twist off the top. Oh, this is gross. All right, so now we're going to pour a little bit on this sandwich bag. And guys, I got to be honest, this stuff is way worse than it sounds. Liquid ass stinks big time. So I'm gonna corner it on this sandwich bag. So oh, right, that might be too much, but that'll do for me. So there's the liquid ass, guys. We are gonna tie this very tight. We're gonna make a little pouch filled with that liquid ass. So I'm gonna tie the end of this sandwich bag like you guys are seeing right now. This makes me wanna throw up big time. So if you guys have used liquid ass before, please let me know in the comments how bad it really smells. Well here it is guys. Here's my pouch of liquid ass and I'm going to trim off the tip because we don't need this excess bag. Just like this. And that's it. We're going to take this pouch of liquid ass guys and we're going to tuck it inside the shoe. So we're going to pull up the insole that's in there. So mine popped up rather easy. So. I'm just gonna take this on the heel, leave it there, and then just push it down. And that's it guys, that's all there is to it. When your victim puts on their shoe, they're not gonna notice anything suspicious or fishy about this shoe. 
But when they put their weight on it, when they stand up or whatever, they're gonna pop that pouch and all that liquid ass is gonna release all over the shoe and the stink will happen instantly. And to get the smell out of the shoe is gonna take a few days or they might have to wash their shoes. But it won't be pretty, especially if they're in school or at a meeting or anywhere, they can't take care of this problem right away. It's a really fun prank, but at the same time, it's very extreme, so prank at your own risk. This next shoe prank, we're gonna be using one of my favorite things in the world, some Kool-Aid. You guys know I use this a lot in my previous pranks, so we're gonna be using it for this prank as well. We're gonna get a packet of Kool-Aid, we're gonna tear off the corner, because we'll need access to it, and next, we're gonna grab a piece of tape, like this, clear tape, lay it on the table like so with the adhesive facing me and then I'm gonna pour some Kool-Aid on it just like this. Once your piece of tape looks like this, you're gonna tape it on the bottom of a shoe. So for example right here I got my shoe and I'm gonna put the shoe over it so it sticks on right on the center. And that's it guys, look. This way it should look like your victim won't be able to see it. And for example, let's say they walk through the floor when it's wet. Or when somebody's mopping the floors in your house, they're gonna leave a stain behind. Let me give you a little example. This is what's gonna happen when your victim walks through the wet floors. <laughs> look at all the stains that'll leave behind. So whoever's mopping the floor is gonna get super upset because it was already clean and now somebody stained them. For this last prank that I'm gonna show you, you gotta be careful because we're gonna be getting your victim shoe, like this one. We'll need a little weight on it to weigh it down. So take the weight, put it inside the shoe. All right, so I put the weight inside the shoe and now it's quite heavy. This is a five pound weight, look. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Next thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna wrap this whole shoe with plastic wrap. So make sure you do this in the morning when your victim is still asleep so they don't find out what you're doing to their shoe. All right, that is perfect. Make sure that you cover every single inch of this shoe because you don't want it to get wet. All right, pranksters, it's ready now. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up the sink. You guys can also do this in the bathtub. Just fill it up and put the shoe inside. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna add some Kool-Aid into the sink. Just like that. Just to throw them off a little bit. That works for me. Now it's time to put the shoe inside. So get the shoe that's covered in plastic wrap and then put it inside, just like so. It's gonna freak them out when they see the shoe in there. Especially if you have the other shoe next to it, but not inside the sink. So just leave the shoe like that. <laughs> They are gonna freak out. All right guys, just cause I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna give you guys an extra prank for you guys to set up on your friends and family using their socks. It's very simple, just watch. All right, so you get a pair of socks. Right here I have two, and as you guys can see, they're different colors. These are black, and these are white. And they're rolled up. So a good way to prank somebody is by doing the following. You undo their socks. So for example, right here I have two socks, and right here I have two socks. Well, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna mix and match. So we're gonna get the black one and the white one together and we're gonna roll them up in such a way that they'll think that it's only black socks. For example, tuck in the white sock so that your victim can't see it. Now it looks like a pair of black socks, right? And you can do the same to the other pair. Put them where they go. And when your victim wants to wear a pair of socks, this is what's gonna happen. This is especially funny if it's their last pair because they'll have to wear mismatched socks. As I mentioned at the start of this video, some of these pranks were pretty extreme and as you just witnessed, some of them were. So if you guys do these, prank at your own risk, make sure you know who you're pranking and that they won't get mad because nobody wants to get their butt kicked, right? So there you have it, a bunch of pranks that you guys can pull off on friends and family using their shoes. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I'll see you pranksters in my next one. Right here I have a video game. Then I'm gonna smoosh it in. <laughs> oh, nasty. So I'm gonna put more eggs inside. Just throw them in there. Oh, they're, they're easily cracking. Look at that. Oh, it looks like blood actually. 
Oh, I still have some liquid ass that I'm gonna spray all over this trash bin. It's just gonna make things worse. 